so we left Corpus Christi today after lunch. Um, we decided to split up because of some behaviors. Gianna went with Stalin and Luca came with me. Luca. Luca came with me and slept the entire way, which was nice. So I did not stop for water or anything. So I got to San Antonio. We're stopping here for a week. I get about two to three weeks off between um, these two contracts. We're gonna spend some time in San Antonio and then uh, just take our time getting to uh, El Paso and Las Cruces area. Hello everyone, we're, uh, we're coming at you from Alamo RV Resort Park in Von Orme, Texas, which is a town uh, southwest outside of San Antonio. It's only about a 10-15 minute drive and you're in San Antonio, so it's not that far. We decided to stay in San Antonio for a week before we uh, hit the road to New Mexico. Uh, and we already got that route, as you can see right here. Haven't made reservations yet, but we shouldn't have any problems with RV parks in small little towns. We were excited to leave Corpus Christi. I know I was. Uh, what's the big difference being in San Antonio than Corpus Christi is, as you can see, we're outside. Yeah. And her hair isn't blowing all over the place. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to be outside and spend time outside except for walking back and forth from the car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so like I said, we'll be here a week. Uh, we're gonna make our way to Anthony, New Mexico, which is the RV park. Anthony, New Mexico? Yep, that's the city where the RV park is that we're staying at, which uh, we're excited because we're gonna be right on the uh, Franklin Mountains is what they're called, that rings behind us. So that's going to be pretty cool. We're excited to see something new, see a different scenery that... I'm excited to go to the White Sands National Park. I was YouTubing it earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a, we got a lot of things uh, to lot of, do. A lot of different things we can do. A lot of different things we're going to do out in... Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to be pretty far away from the water unless you count the Rio Grande, which I guess we won't count that. But yeah, stay tuned. Uh, we got a lot of things to, to do, to see. And uh, we'll see you out here in San Antonio if we actually do some things. We don't know because he's very, very sick. Uh, she's a little bit hoarse too. He's getting better. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, a lot of breathing treatments right now. we'll do some things while we're out here. Well, another uh, beautiful day out here in san antonio we decided to take advantage of it come out for a bike ride and a, a walk we're in the uh the san antonio river walk not the fancy part you saw in the last video There are 700 clay sculptures which were made by community members hanging off the tree. They reflect the ranching heritage themes and stories related to collectively rich traditions.
Due to federal law, all commercial filming that occurs in any national park requires a permit. Commercial filming means the film, electronic, magnetic, digital, or other recording of a moving image by a person, business, or other entity for a market audience with the intent of generating income. While our channel is not monetized, i.e. it doesn't generate money from views, YouTube as a whole does generate money. The process to get a permit is to submit one weeks out, pay the fee of anywhere from $50 to $100 to $200 dependent on park, and that doesn't guarantee that you'll be approved. If you're not approved, you're not getting your money back. A famous online channel, Kara and Nate, were fined over $1,000 for filming and posting a video from a national park they visited. At the time, they were not aware of this federal law. So with that, photography is still okay. So we will be using still pictures of any national parks until and if the law changes. So we made it to the Mi Tierra restaurant. Hot, hot salsa. So we made it to the Mi Tierra restaurant and we made it on a weekday. Uh, by a weekend when we were last here. The wait last time was an hour, but uh, today there was really no wait. Uh, we were seated right when we got here. So if you want to make it down here, you got to come on a weekday. Lunch. Yeah. Well, we're coming up on our last night here in San Antonio. Uh, we're gonna head out tomorrow morning. Hopefully, it's not a, a slow morning. Uh, I'm at the park with uh, Gianna. Katrina is over at the commissary behind me with Luca, getting us some uh, things uh, that we're missing. Along with, she's gonna make us some. Uh, uh, some breakfast for the next few days that way we can just wake up eat and hit the road uh, so from san antonio we're gonna go to sonora texas uh, and then from there the next day we're gonna head over to man i forgot balrogan balragan texas and then the last leg of the trip is gonna take us all the way to anthony new mexico so we're excited for that we'll see you out there Hey all today was moving day. Uh, this morning we departed Alamo River Resort RV and we're on our way over to Sonora, Texas Elite RV Park for just one night. Hi guys, so we are coming to you from Sonoro, Sonoro or Sonora, Texas. We had a short like three hour drive today. I'm like five minutes from our campground, but I could not take any more screaming. So I pulled over, uh, looks quite different um, than San Antonio. It's, I think it said when we got close 3000 people um so san antonio i worked in like 15 20 years ago there was a couple hundred thousand now there's a couple million i was told so uh the traffic was something i will not miss me gianna and luca left this morning when i felt like it was a good time to get his nap going and I'm just waiting on Stalin. We're actually, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon and we're gonna get probably set up by three o'clock. It's gonna be a nice change.